The budget cut battle between the mayor and the sheriff in Portsmouth is now becoming real life and perhaps a real hassle for people doing business at the courthouse. The roster of deputies and support personnel is now less than half of what it used to be. Investigative reporter Chris Horn is looking into the impact. So, Chris, what can people expect when it comes to safety and access there? Well, Nicole and Tom, the sheriff's department says safety will not be compromised. The mayor says the building was overstaffed to begin with. But with fewer people to transfer prisoners to courtrooms, guard judges, and run the security screenings, get ready to wait. Outward appearance wise, things will look pretty much the same. It's the behind the scenes things that will suffer. That means your experience entering the courthouse could become slower and less convenient. Lines at scanners will likely be longer during peak times. Fewer deputies also means more time getting inmates from the main lockup to the individual courtrooms. Instead of three groups of inmates moving simultaneously, it'll be one at a time because we just won't have the staff to do it all. Um, there are uh, nine lockups associated with the courtrooms throughout the building. Uh, those may or may not be manned, uh, so getting inmates in and out of there will be a bigger issue than it has been in the past. As a result, court schedules could get stretched out. They may be, depending on which court you're going to, it may be a slower process. You may see a longer line at the door to get into the building uh, because there are fewer people manning those stations. Jamoki says all safety procedures and protocols will be followed. It will just take longer because there are fewer deputies. The new Portsmouth Courthouse has been in operation for almost three years now. And the Sheriff's Department says one of the worst security problems was when a defendant tried to attack a judge. He was flipping over tables and had to be restrained on the floor. Back then, we had probably a dozen deputies in that courtroom within a matter of a minute. And if it happened now? You have the two deputies in the courtroom. That's it. That's it. There's nobody in the lockup, no deputy in the lockup. For another deputy to respond, they would have to leave their courtroom, leave their judge unguarded. Here's the picture when it comes to filling the slots. Sheriff Bill Watson had agreed that he could handle a cutback of 16 deputies, but then 24 city-funded positions were cut. That leaves 21 state-funded positions. The city then returned $180,000 that enabled the hiring of some part-timers. But Jamoki says training is an issue. A retired or laid-off officer certified for law enforcement would need special training to be certified as a jailer. It's really not an a matter of just hiring someone who's retired and bringing them in and putting them to work. They've got to be trained. That would include learning critical technology, x-ray, walk-through metal detector, and handheld metal detector. Jamoki says they'll have to figure out a way to cover all the bases. That's what we're gnawing our fingernails over. Meanwhile, Mayor Kenny Wright declined an on-camera interview, but he had plenty to say on the phone. Wright says the city's consultant found the previous staffing level was way out of line. The mayor says the courthouse rush hour is typically over by noon. Regarding the movement of prisoners, Wright says use video arraignments for everything but trials. Well, the sheriff's department says it has very limited video capability, so judges choose not to use it. For context, Norfolk, Chesapeake, and Virginia Beach all use video arraignments in some measure. And finally, that critical issue of safety Wright says, there's no doubt in my mind the courthouse will be safe and secure. As for possible long lines at the doors, circle July 10th, there will be double the normal amount of arraignments because tomorrow is a holiday, plus jury on orientation and misdemeanor appeals on that same day. The Sheriff's Department is expecting about 1,200 people that day. That's 50% more than average. Chris Horn, 10 on your side.